Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So a few of you have requested to see the inside of my product closet, which houses my uh, hair products and um, backups and sort of alternate skincare products that I don't use every day. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So let's dive into it. Okay, so this is the first shelf we're gonna talk about. There's two shelves higher up. The one just above this one is all my husband's things and nothing too exciting to talk about up there, mostly like deodorant and extra toothpaste. And the very top shelf is just, you know, cotton balls, extra mouthwash, dog shampoo, stuff like that. So this is where things get a little bit more interesting. <laughs> um, so this is sort of my current hair products, body products, stuff like that that I'm using. Um, and I don't know, some miscellaneous. This is the backups closet. Backups and hair products, okay? So on this side, we have my little razor. <laughs> Uh, I've got my perfume, I've got a little sample of the uh, YSL Black Opium that I'm using right now, which I actually really like, um, and then I've got the, uh, what's this called, Tory Birch Absolute. This is really nice. This was a gift from a client. I've also got the Spa Ritual Multitasker. This is a base coat and top coat in one. I've got a lip balm that I made. Uh, last year I did like DIY gifts for Christmas and I had a couple extra lip balms so this is one of those and then I've got my lip sense oops remover I'm not wearing lip sense anymore but I find this works really well for removing like tough liquid lipstick so I keep I always keep one of those and then I've just got my little hair clip for when I'm washing my face there's like dust and hair in here that's fine <laughs> A nail file, Q-tips, obviously. Um, I had been using these. Um, they're like four by four gauze squares. So I've been using these for years to remove my eye makeup. And just recently, I purchased these reusable rounds. They're like a microfiber material. So I'm trying these out. I want to be a little bit more conscientious of the waste. I stopped using makeup remover wipes quite a while ago because of the waste, but I'm still throwing these things away. So I got these. I got them on Amazon. Um, I can link them below. There was like 16 in a pack. So I'm trying them out. I it's a little bit of an adjustment. It's not what I'm used to, but I'm hoping I'm going to get used to it and like fully switch over to these. Uh, these are my pimple patches. I talk about them all the time. They're like acne patches. I can link those below as well. Love these so much. Can't live without them. So I always have a few packs. When I open the last pack, I order the next round of them. Over here is like the open hair products, body care, stuff like that. So this is the um, hair mask that I'm using right now. This is the Schwarzkopf Blonde Me. Love this. This is like witchcraft for your hair. Makes it so soft, so smooth and shiny. Uh, this is the body lotion that I'm using right now. Um, I always have a hemp lotion on the go. This just happens to be the one I've got open. Um, I don't use this type of product very often. This is the powder grip from Redken. It's Basically, instead of teasing your hair, you put this powder at your root and sort of zhuzh it up and it gives you volume. I don't use it very often, but it is nice to have because I don't like to tease my hair. I find that really damaging. So this is a nice product to have on hand. And because it's a powder, it doesn't really go bad. Um, this product we got in the last Boxy Charm. No, we got this in the last Boxy Lux. Um, so it's like a volume and texture spray. I haven't had much of a chance to use it too much, but um, so far I like it. And then I've got my Matrix. I really like the Matrix hairsprays. I've been using those for years. That's my hairspray. This is like, this is like, it's called spray adhesive. It's like the super duper strong hairspray. I think I have this from when I got married and I don't even know if it would spray anymore. Oh, it does. Yep, it still sprays. So we'll hang on to that. This is good if you're like doing an updo or you just really need everything to really stick. I've got the Spa Ritual uh, nail polish remover. I always keep a bottle of polish remover on hand. I don't do my nails very often at home, but it's nice to have a few things just in case. 
Um, this is sort of the uh, split end product that I'm using right now. This is the Big Sexy Hair brand, and it's the split end mender lotion. I like it fine. I think I like the Schwarzkopf one I was using before better. And this is just like a leave-in conditioner. I've got my fake tan spray. I mostly only use this on my legs. I don't use it terribly often. I should really spray tan myself. So this is the one that I like. This is the um, Body Drench Quick Tan. I like that one a lot. I love the sprays. It's just so easy. So this is a like salt spray. I like to use this in the summertime when I'm doing like the beachy hair. This is my purple shampoo. So this is the Matrix Watercolor uh, Intense Metallic Shampoo. I've got the one that's for silver. Um, this is a beautiful product. Not only does it tone my hair and takes the brassiness out of my blonde, but it also is like really, really nourishing. It almost feels like a shampoo and conditioner in one. So I usually do like these things together on the same day, like on Sundays. I'll use my purple shampoo and then I'll go in with my treatment. I've got the Osis Bouncy Curls Curl Gel. I had been using this a lot. Recently I stopped using curl products and just started using like leave-in conditioner and serum and I actually think my hair looks a lot better. So I'm probably not gonna be using this a whole lot anymore. Um, I do like to have a mousse on hand for the odd occasion that I blow dry my hair. It doesn't happen very often, but this is the Big Sexy Hair Big Altitude. So it's just like a blow dry mousse. I've only used it a couple of times because, like I say, I never blow dry my hair. Um, I dug this out yesterday. Um, the body makeup is like really in right now, and I was watching different reviews on different ones, and Kathleen Lights was saying this is still one of her favorites, and I was like, you know what? I literally own that, <laughs> and I've never used it. So I just cracked it open yesterday, and I really liked it. It smells just like the Boom Boom Cream. Beautiful. So I'm excited to use this a little bit more as the summer goes on. These are sort of the current products that I'm using in my hair that I really like. So this is the Catwalk uh, Sleek Mystique Blow Up Balm. It's just a serum. I just like to have some kind of a serum. And then the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Leave-In Conditioner. So I usually put this in, like spray it in all over, brush it through, and then I just apply some kind of a serum to the ends. So that's what I'm really liking right now. This is the... Um, bath oil that I'm using right now. I've talked about these a million times. You'll see I've got more down here when we get more into the backups. Um, but this is the one I'm using right now and it's the rosemary scent. And then I've got my deep blue uh, doTERRA. This is their, it's sort of like the essential oil version of like Rub A535. So this is really good for like sore muscles, um, aches and pains, stuff like that. So I always keep one of these on hand. I've got a little teeny tiny nail polish in here because I was painting my friend's toes on the weekend. I have a whole mess of nail polish in my basement. My Tom's uh, natural deodorant. This is the one I'm liking right now. This is the Honeysuckle Rose. And then I've just got a couple of like medications here. I also usually have a basket here of medications and you know band-aids and stuff like that and I just took that out for the sake of the video. And then here we get more into like the backups of stuff. So, don't mind my head is going to be in the frame and I look like a crazy person. This basket here is like all my travel sizes of things. So I'm not going to go through the entire basket because my gosh, there's so many teeny tiny things in there. That could be a whole separate video. Let me know below in the comments if you're interested in that. But like the types of things I have in here are like the makeup wipes that we got in the last boxy term. I've got a mini of a dry shampoo. I've got like mini shampoos, mini makeup removers, things like that. Any like minis that I get, I just toss in that basket and I use them when I travel. Um, so over on this side are backups, extras, stuff like that, and like skincare that I use but I don't use all the time so I don't wanna keep it in the bathroom. So here are my backups of the Herbaland bath oils that I like. So these are the ones that I have not opened yet. So there's a lavender one here, a eucalyptus, and then the harmonizing anti-stress. And then I've got, this is the um, Herbaland fragrance-free hand lotion that I talk about all the time. I sell this like hotcakes at the salon. I keep one on my nightstand. So I always make sure I've got at least a small one on backup, if not the large size. 
And then I'm almost out of body wash in my shower, so I've got this one ready to go. If you're wondering why there's tags on some of these things, I buy things for the salon when they're on sale. And when I get low at home, I just grab one and take it home with me. So this is their Frosted Peppermint and Vanilla Sugar Body Wash. I've had this at the salon for quite a while, so I decided to take it home and use it before it goes bad. So that will be my next round of body wash when I'm done with the one I'm using now. These are the doTERRA On Guard Throat Drops. So this is like an all-natural like lozenge for when you have a sore throat. Um, so I keep a bag of these on hand. And then this is my exfoliant. This is my physical scrub that I like to use. This is the Quinescent Sage Peel Gel. I use this once or twice a week, so I keep it in here so it's not getting hot in the shower all the time. Um, but this is the one that I'm using. I think this is the like salon size, like the big back bar size. Um, so there's still quite a bit in there. I do have another one at the salon if I run out of this. This jar actually has a peel neutralizer in it, so I keep that in case I do a peel at home and I feel it needs to be neutralized. And then I've just got a couple of dishes that I could mix, like a mask in or something like that. And then um, then I've got, this is the dry shampoo I'm using right now. I got this in a boxy charm. Um, this is the R Plus Co Death Bath. Death Valley dry shampoo. I like this a lot. I know it's a small size, but I don't use a lot of dry shampoo, so something like this lasts me for quite a while. This is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Serum. Uh, I use this a couple of times a week. It's a resurfacing night serum. Love this so much, um, but again, because it's not something I use every day, I just keep it here in this closet. And then I've got a couple of backups of cleansers. So right now I'm using a pharmacy one, but I've got the Dr. Brandt Clean Biotic Cleanser on backup. I think this is the one I'm going to use next. And then I've also got the Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser. I got both of these in boxy charms, and I don't like to open a bunch of cleansers all at once, so I use one up and then I go into the next one. But because this is like a conditioning cleanser, I figured I would save that for the winter and I'll go with this one next. And then I've got a backup of my thermal spring water. I use these for a lot of different things. It's just like spring water in a can, basically. I use it as a toner. I'll use it as a refreshing mist. Sometimes I'll spray. I'll use it not as a setting spray, but like just to take the powdery look down on my skin after I've done my makeup. I use these for a lot of different things. I also sometimes get like heat rash in the summer on my chest. Um, so I'll use this for that as well. I had bought this in a two pack, so I've got an extra one here. Um, I've also got like back in that, you can see that black thing, that's like a color bowl and like a bottle for mixing toner. I just keep those things on hand in case I decide to tone my hair or something. Um, and then this here is the Redken chemistry system. This is like an in-salon hair treatment. You would go and have it done from a hairstylist in the salon. I bought this for myself because, well, because I can. I have access to these products and I do get like quite damaged hair because of course I've got the blonde and I go through phases where I'm heat styling a lot. So I've got the extreme version. Oh, here comes Charlie. Hi, honey. This is not for you. I have the um, extreme version, which is a deep treatment for distressed hair, so you use these together. I don't use it very often because it is quite a strong treatment, but it is nice when I feel like my hair is really going through something. And then I've got a couple of makeup backups, so I usually have a backup of my e.l.f. Um, blemish control primer, but I actually opened one last week, so I've got to replace it. Um, and I usually have two of these, and I only have one right now. So I just I've opened a few of my backups, but I have the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in Honey Brown. So I need to also pick up a soft blonde. So I've got one of each on backup. And then I've got this Tristique mascara. I always have a backup mascara. Um, just because I feel like when your mascara goes, it really goes. So I've got this one on backup, but I have since found my new favorite mascara, which is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. So once I crack this one open, I'll just keep a backup of the CoverGirl one because I know it's the one that I like. And then I've got some more skincare backups here. So I've got the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. Love this so much that I 
made sure I had an extra one on hand. I am trying something else right now, but I've got this one ready to go for when I'm done with that. Um, I've got a, quite a few masks here. So I've got the Quinescence Vital Hydrating Mask. This is a great mask when my skin is really when I'm breaking out and it's sensitive and it's doing all kinds of weird things, this is a great mask that it will just hydrate. Um, the main ingredient is water and aloe, I believe. So it's very gentle, very calming. Um, so I like to always keep this on hand. I often do these together. This is my Quinescence Multi Fruit Peel Cleanser. This is an AHA um, peel cleanser. So when I'm breaking out, I will do this cleanser leave it on for five minutes, and then I'll apply this mask. I have a whole video about that. I will link that in the description box below where I go through that little facial that I do for myself, but I generally use these two pieces together. And then I've got the Strivectin Silver Peel-Off Mask. So this is like a purifying mask. This is one of the few peel-off masks that I've found that doesn't have denatured alcohol in it. Um, so I like this. It doesn't hurt when I peel it off. It seems to make seems to make my skin quite smooth, so I do like that. Um, and then I've got the Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. We got this in last month's BoxyCharm. I'm really, really enjoying this. Me and my friend actually gave ourselves little facials the other night, um, and we both really liked this. P uh, you know, sheet masks, samples, stuff like that. So I've got this uh, fresh clay mask that I got free with a Sephora order. I've got the Dermovia Lace Appeal. This is the peel off mask. I did a whole video about this as well. I'll link that below. So I've got one more use of that here. I've got a couple of the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. Love these. I don't use them a ton, but I like to have them on hand because I do sometimes get really puffy. I've got the Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Mask. I've got... <laughs> The Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. I had a couple of these. I used one. I've still got one on hand. I've also got the Lancome Hydrogel Melting Mask. This has just a few BioElements samples in it. I brought this home from the salon. I needed a few things for travel. It's just got like some foil packs in there. And then I've got this Sephora Green Clay Mask. Um, it says four uses. I've used it like at least eight times. <laughs> it's lasting forever, but I actually quite like this. So those are sort of like one-time use, like sheet masks that I've gotten in, in boxy charms or I've gotten in the mail or I've gotten as gifts from people, that kind of stuff. They're great for traveling. If I'm gonna be away, I'll throw a sheet mask in my toiletry bag. I've got a backup serum here ready to go. This is the Glomalin anti-aging face serum. They sent me this product, uh, a moisturizer and a toner, and I'm basically I'm introducing them one piece at a time into my skincare routine to see how my skin responds to them. So I started with the toner, I'm using the moisturizer now, and probably in another week or so I'll try introducing this and see how my skin does. Um, so I'll let you guys know in a future video what I think about these, but I like to keep a serum on hand as backup. And then I've just got a couple of hair products here. So I had picked up the um, Diva Curl Wavy Transformation Kit. Uh, I had picked this up to try and I'm almost through the products that I'm using right now and then I'm gonna switch over to this and see how my hair does with it. I have wavy hair, but it's like more frizzy than anything. So I was kind of hoping something like this might change my hair texture a little bit. And I've got a backup hair treatment. So this is the Redken All Soft Heavy Cream. This is for dry and brittle hair. It's very moisturizing. It's got a little bit of protein in it. Um, it's quite similar to like the Joico K-Pack treatment in terms of how it makes your hair feel. So I keep one of these on hand for when I'm done with the treatment up top that I showed you guys earlier. I've got a backup conditioner. I think I just picked this up because it was on sale and it was like a peptide repair rescue for damaged hair. And I'm like, yes, that's me. So I think I picked it up for just a few dollars. So I have an extra conditioner on hand. And then I've got the Biolage Normalizing Clean Reset. So this is like a, this is like a hair clarifier. So this isn't something you would use all the time. I only use this when I feel like I've got buildup on my hair that needs to come off. So you might only use this like once every few months. It's not something I would recommend even using once a week. It will make your hair a little bit dry. So I will never go through this. It'll probably expire before I use it all up, but it is nice to have on hand. 
and it does make your hair feel really like weightless because it takes all the buildup out of your hair. And then I've just got a couple of miscellaneous like pumps and stuff for um, shampoo bottles and stuff back there. And then I've got the Guerlain Double Renew and Repair Serum. These are just, again, like some foil packs that I got. Um, again, great for traveling. I kind of keep them back here with these one-time use masks. And then for the shelf below, I can't really, I can't set up the, sh I can't set the camera up low enough because it's basically on the floor. Um, so I'm just going to lift the things up that are down here. So I've got a bag like this. I always keep a giveaway basket sort of on the go. So this one's actually ready to go. I need to uh, get going on Instagram and do a little contest. So if you're not following me over on Instagram, I do keep all of my socials linked below in the description box. I will be doing a giveaway for this very soon. There's all kinds of great products in here. Makeup, there's a toner, um, there's nail polish, there's all kinds of goodies in there. So make sure you're following me. I will be doing a giveaway for this soon. Um, but I usually keep a basket of some type down on this bottom shelf for giveaway stuff. And then under here is just my hot tool. So I've got my lamp for doing my nails at home. I've got that tiny blow dryer that we got in a previous boxy charm. And then I've got just like various curling irons in a basket down below. So that's all that's underneath. So that's it for my little, um, that's it for my backup closet. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!